Uh-oh. If I lie, slap the shit out of me, I ain't never lied. Why I look bigger than everybody on here? I don't know what, I'ma stop apologizing for my joke. My shit is good. Hey guys, Dr. Heavenly here. This is the second episode of season six of Married to Medicine. I'm gonna give an overview of what I think is going on, give you some insight, let you know what I think. And uh, hopefully you all enjoy the show. All right, here we go again. Now listen, my whole thing, you know, me and Mariah, we have our thing going back and forth. Honestly, I think mine is light and petty. Tell me if I'm wrong, my stuff is light and petty poster drawn on your poster okay um your mama jokes so my stuff is light and funny i see your mama to everybody so, but to take it from a poster that you just didn't like it wasn't a horrible poster a poster you just didn't like to go to your husband cheating uh i think that's a stretch especially with what everybody else is going through in their marriage why bring that kind of pain like that ain't something you would go to immediately. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be something I would go to immediately. Oh, I got receipts on your husband, receipts. You know what, if she just said, I know somebody he slept with, she said a lot of women. A lot of women, they ain't got no time for no lot of women. Come on now, lot of women. Come on now, if you gonna lie, show the receipts. That's all I'm saying, show them, pull them out, pull them out. <laughs> oh, she called her husband daddy. Look at Contessa calling her man daddy. Oh, that's a trend, huh? That's exactly why I called my husband daddy, so the kids would. But it kind of kept, I kept it up over the years. My whole thing with Contessa is, baby, get somebody to help you cook, somebody to clean. You ain't got to do all of that by yourself. You just don't. You don't have to do all of that. I mean, if you're a working mother and your husband working and y'all both doctors, you got three kids and all that, get you some help. Ain't nothing wrong. There's nothing to be ashamed of by getting some help, somebody to cook, somebody to clean up. I know Miss Renee may be a bad taste in your mouth. I don't know. But you can get somebody professional to come in. You can do Uber Eats. You can have somebody deliver your meals. I mean, you know, you can get a chef to deliver your meals. But all that, taking all that on yourself is very difficult. I like Simone's friends, Rashawn and Selena. They such great people. They just really are. You're not supposed to be your man's everything. Your man can't be your everything. Y'all know that. That's, that's relationship one-on-one. -on -one. So to say that, that's just not... I know it's a difficult time for Quad. I think that a lot of us were hurt that she wasn't there. I know it, it played out like we were really upset with Quad, but really, we just missed her, you know? Um, Quad is the life of the party. Um, we just like her ha having her around. I think one thing about Quad is she may have been embarrassed because I know a lot of times she would say, if my man ever cheated, you know, like other people, men, I'm out, I'm out. So. I think at that point she was at a stalemate or a, a crossroad, if you will, and trying to decide whether she could stay and if she should go. And I, I think that that's a difficult time. And if you need time to do that, if you feel more comfortable with other people, so be it. I think we as a group were just upset she wasn't there. We, we felt like the group was not the same without her being there. Event planner. Okay, now Toya doing another man, a party something. Jesus. You guys know I love a good old party. Yeah, we know you love a party, girl. You have a party. I love that Toya's uplifting her man. I think there's something to be said about that. He got a promotion. She used her birthday for his promotion to have a party. Now, we know Toya like to spend money. We're going to have a nice party. And she gave it to her husband. She thoughtful. That's how a marriage lasts. Thinking about the other person more, more so than you think about yourself. Now, think about yourself now. Don't put it all out there and do everything for him. But... Let him know you care about him. Show him you care. That's all I'm saying. Toya, good job. Oh, yes, Miss Simone. She got her leather and lace picture. Yes, baby. I didn't get my picture like that blown up. They didn't give me my picture. I want my picture. It has been a very long time since Simone and I were, were intimate. And mm. um, it's been tough. What's a long time, y'all? Is that a week? Two days? I mean, I guess it's relative because Toya probably be three days for Jackie, probably be four months. I don't know. What's, what's a long time? Let me explain to you how powerful sex is with a man. I hate to go here, but I'm going here. Aiden Huck gave up his culture, his religion. He, he, he married somebody outside of his culture, his, his religion. His parents disowned him. And he married his wife anyway. You understand what I'm saying? He adopted her child 
You understand how deep that is? He loved his wife deeply. And he still went out and had sex with somebody else. That's how powerful sex is. It don't have to mean anything, but you're not having sex with your man. You can get what you want. That's how I get what I want, Simone. Have sex. I'm telling you, if you give it to him, he won't be stubborn. I'm telling you, that's the stubbornness cure. The cure for stubbornness is just let it just goo ooze on out of him. I'm telling you, that's a big portion of your issue right there. Eva's beautiful. Look at her. And to Jackie has all the celebrity patients. Everybody goes to see Jackie. She's just in a phenomenal doctor. All right, prostaglandin. All right. Jackie be using words. Don't nobody know what the hell she talking about. But anyway, prostaglandin, honey. Get the prostaglandin. I just look so big on the camera. Damn, I'm not that big. I promise you I'm not. I look sexy. Don't get me wrong, voluptuous. But um, I just look too big. Because seriously, the person that I'm talking of is clearly going through something. I need to be more sensitive to that fact because I've been so blessed. That was my first session with Dr. K. Amazing doctor. Love him. Um, I think my issue is there's certain people I just don't like. Now, there's something that can be looked at deeper. But honestly, I think I said it. I can't stand a freaking liar. There's something in my past or something that I just can't stand a, a woman that will lie. Yeah, Lisa Nicole lied. It ain't got nothing to do with her. You know what I mean? She tried to cheat me on, a, on, a, on, a, on an event. That, that pissed me off. It did. Mariah just lying for no reason. I ain't never lied. I ain't never lied. I mean, maybe some things you think were not true, but it was my truth. I ain't never just went out of my way to just lie to somebody. I always tell you, now my truth is harsh. It's like that, Jackie say. But at least I ain't lying on people. Lying, liars make me angry. That's what I'm saying. And if you look at this, the, the track record is, it's always a liar. A liar. A liar. Lying on me. Lying on my man. Lying on me. I don't like nobody lying on me, especially on damn TV. Go ahead. You know what? I always have a good time with the ladies. Ooh, look at that. Who boot is that? Ooh. Look at this sexy hey, nurse. Emily, I see you got your running shoes on. Yeah, just in case some stuff pop off. No, no, that's right. Shit, I don't know what the hell these crazy, that crazy woman gonna do. For real. Like some stuff pop off out of nowhere. I love that. And she having a party for her man. And he doesn't know it. And it's her birthday. That's really cute. You know, uh, ladies on this show get real mad if you don't show up to a party. Everybody, people got shit to do, Toya. Everybody not free all the time. I don't know. I guess that that's what she doesn't get. But one thing I'm going to tell you is, Toya, I know you have a lot of free time, and this ain't even no Joan or nothing, but people have stuff going on in their mind. In their lives, they can't make every party. I got a job. Other people got jobs. They got things to do. We can't make every party. We got stuff going on in our lives. And to me, I love that you guys come to parties. I definitely want you to come to mine. But if something going on with me, my child, I'm not showing up. If something going on with my man, I'm not coming, OK? How are you? Dr. Damon is dressed like he's always dressed. That's right. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> go <gonna> show it. <laughs> oh, look at you. Joan and already. OK. You know what? I think because I've been to my first anger management session, I have to show some type of improvement. And I think that the test is dealing with a low down, dirty bitch. That's the test. The devil is busy. Oh, look at it. I love it. I love it. Toy and Jean. Woo, 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 woo. Mm-mm, you backed up off of that. Y'all better stop playing with people, man. I am not at all surprised by Heavenly's behavior. She's just like her spiritual journey. Fake and phone. Hmm, I think I'm acting pretty nice. I think you're the one digging Mariah, but that's okay. It's almost like Mariah wanted me to keep her relevant. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I ain't did nothing to the woman, right? Did y'all see me do anything? No. There are a lot of things said about me that wasn't true. Oh no, your shit was true, Curtis. I'm sorry now. Some things that weren't true? You, well, baby, I don't think you, 
Curtis, just be quiet, please. Just, just please be quiet. I'm not gonna talk about Curtis, y'all. That's Jackie Hub. I respect Jackie. Curtis, just be quiet, baby. Don't say nothing. <laughs> they play like. <laughs> they look like I'm looking for daddy. They go daddy talking to the white girl. Look, look. <laughs> the parameters of Damon talking to a female is don't. That was cute. Y'all yeah, get that was a joke, right? Y'all don't get my humor. That was funny. Ha ha. Well, I mean, he right. You don't have to call a girl that you probably don't even really like about a party you didn't want to come to if your daddy was stuck in the hospital. Now, y'all got to be reasonable. Y'all want, you know what? I ain't going to lie for nobody. I love Toya. I do. I love her. But if somebody, daddy in the hospital, my first priority is probably not to call you. I'm sorry. Maybe Toya needs to see an anger management doctor, too. Absolutely, fine. Absolutely. I think all of us need to see the mind doctor. I really do. You mad because of a party? Come on now, we got bigger fish to fry. This bitch done lied on my man, okay? You talking about a party? Come on, girl. Come back from that. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Um, it got kind of interesting. Um, I wanted to see more, but tune in next week. We're going to keep it going. It gets pretty interesting. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page, like and comment, and tell me your thoughts. See you next week.